The knockout game. Have you guys heard about the knockout game? It's when you walk up to an unsuspecting victim and you punch him in the face so fucking hard that you knock him the fuck out. And then you and your friends have a laugh about it. And hopefully you catch it on camera so you can put it on a social website and then hopefully it goes viral, you know? And all your friends have a kick and a laugh and you do two terrible things. One, you hurt an unsuspecting victim. Two, you end up going, getting locked up and going to prison. And three, you end up hurting many other people at a macro scale than just yourself. Right? There we go. So let's go ahead and talk about, about this. Let's go ahead and analyze what's going on here. Let me tell you what I saw. I saw this skinny jean wearing punk. All right? And I saw his profile about six foot three. Big kid. Wearing skinny jeans. Walks up to... An unsus to, to like a an old man is minding his own business. His friend is filming it, egging him on, do it, do it, ha ha ha, with his little feminine laugh. And then of course a, a girl, I think it was a girl's hard to tell nowadays with this generation, but laughing in the background, don't hit him, don't hit him, right? Hard to tell. It is what it is. And then the you know the individual committed the act is. It was a Latino kid. He looks at the camera. You want me to just knock him out? Knock him out cold or something like that. I'm paraphrasing. Turns around and boom! Socks him. And of course, it's followed by the oh! Right? And of course, he, the guy just walks away like if nothing just happened. So this is what happened. It went viral on, you, on Facebook. Terrible act. What a stupid kid what a dumb kid what the fuck are you doing let me tell you why this is a problem okay there's many things delivering that punch is filled with nothing but negatives no positives for anybody no one wins okay first of all first of all I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how, how old this kid is, but, you know, his parents, if, if he has parents, are going to face consequences for this, right? They're going to be known as the parents of the kid that walked up to an old man and punched him in the face, right? That's if they're good parents. Uh, my money is that maybe they're not, but, you know, terrible, you know. I don't know. I don't know what the laws are specifically in that state. I don't know if there'll be fines or whatnot. Most importantly, hurt an, uh, an innocent man that the victim got, was just unsuspectedly hit. That's somebody's grandfather, somebody's father. Okay, that that that's somebody's. It could be somebody's brother. That that could be somebody's friend, acquaintance, whatever. And in the human side, you see that and you say, what the, why the hell would you hit that man? What good would come out of that? Absolutely nothing. I hope the old man's okay. I hope he recovers, right? I hope he presses charges for assault, okay? That's where it can really affect the parents of this kid, if they have anything, right? But this skinny jean wearing piece of shit and, and that's that's what we got to call them we, we can't call them nice names you know like we can't call them young man or confused kid or is he confused absolutely but we really need to call these kids for what they are when they commit these acts the same for the one that egged it on with the camera he's just as responsible and he should serve just as much time behind bars as this other kid now obviously th they were dumb enough to film it Right, so it really shows you the intelligence of these kids. Okay, just to get a high and, and to let something go viral, this kid's going to go to jail. His friend's probably going to go to jail. I hope. Right? Immediately, the internet found out where this kid works. Okay, they, they found out that he worked at Foot Locker. They, they knew his address. and knew his phone number. Right? I'm pretty sure the police is going to get him. All right. With all that's it. Terrible. 
stupid. This knockout game has to stop. Okay, let me tell you something, an observation about this knockout game. Observation number one. A lot of these kids uh, participating in the knockout game, a vast, a good amount of them are wearing these skinny jeans. Okay, the, these, these, I don't know if there's a correlation with that or not. Okay? But, but we need to, I, I, it's just an observation. But in all seriousness, okay? Skinny jean wearing pieces of shit. That's what they are, right? These kids, first of all, let me say this. They think it's cool when someone gets knocked out, you know, because obviously their intelligence level, and they're not that intelligent, okay? Like, obviously, they, they I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, they, they totally ignorant kids. They probably think that it's the same when you cheer a knockout in a boxing match than hitting an unsuspecting victim. Like they, they probably think it's like an equal thing. Like, like in their heads, their IQ can only process, well, yeah, if somebody gets knocked out, you cheer, right? Maybe they just don't understand. Nobody's, an adult never guided them to understand that you just don't walk up to unsuspecting victims and punch them in the face and knock them out. Okay, yes, like I celebrate when Pacquiao got knocked the fuck out by Juan Manuel Marquez. There is a difference to that. Are they both knockouts? Yes, now I understand that a lot of youth today don't have a lot of intelligence, so common sense isn't quite there, right? So like, oh, well, you cheered that, so why can't I cheer this? It's the same thing. Because they're that stupid, right? No, one, of a, one is a sport with two combatants with the same objective in mind. The other one is an unsuspecting victim getting hit in the face. It doesn't even have to be a sport. If it's a YouTube video of two consenting adults fighting each other, okay, with, with two guys, with two dudes, you know, being on macho and, oh yeah, I'm going to fight him, I'm going to fight him too, and they, they, they agree to fight, and one of them gets knocked out, and then that there's a big difference to that, okay? The fact that that needs to be explained is amazing. Now, I know what a lot of people are going to say, oh, come on, nobody needs that explained. You'll be surprised, all right? So, and they're obviously doing it. And if you see some of these comments on Facebook, it's astonishing. Now, not a lot of them, don't get me wrong, but one out of every hundred is a lot to think that way, all right? Well, that's it. Well, that's it. Other comments I saw. Disturbing. Okay? A lot of racists are using this to justify their racism. Okay? I saw some of the posts. Now, some of, you know, for the most part, most people were commenting about what a terrible thing this is and what's wrong with the youth today. Right? That's what a sane person is supposed to say, right? But then you have the ones justifying their racism. And, and what do you mean? Well, they're just justifying it. Okay, reading the comments, reading the comment sections, links to conservative websites, surprise, surprise, right? And I, I posted, obviously, this is terrible and, you know, it made people angry. Some people wanted to beat the kids' ass. You know, natural stuff, right? But then some of these links, some of these comments were really racist comments, right? Attacking an entire race of people, an entire ethnicity group, ethnic group, I'm sorry, right? Because of what happened in this particular case, right? Reading comments like, well, they get off with this. Why don't we send them back to the jungle where they belong? And, you know, they're savages and just stuff like that, right? Like they, they, they. Now, now one may, may say, well, maybe they're just referring, you know, to just kids, specifically kids that punch old people in the face, right? I mean, maybe some of them, right? Some, so some of the, those comments are kind of vague, but when you go to these conservative websites, right, with the links on them, okay, it's pretty clear that a lot of those comments are very overt, like they're out there, okay? 
Um, so it's pretty clear what they mean. Well, the words they're using, you know, KKK language, people. This, this is not like it was up for interpretation. All right. Now, even myself, okay, this is the comment I put. Now, keep in mind, this was a Latino male that punched an old white guy in the face and knocked him out, right? And this was my comment in response to some of the racist rhetoric that I was seeing in the comment section. For some strange reason, right-wing racists have taken this video as an opportunity to justify their racism. Let's not forget about the white male that shot up and killed those innocent black people at church. There are terrible people in every race. That's what I said. In response to some of the racist rhetoric I was seeing. And of course, I received the response. Only a idiot, it's actually an, but we're not going to judge him. Only a idiot would justify this act by bringing up something like that. One don't justify the other. Why does a person have to be a racist to be upset about the animal that hit that old woman? You are a disgrace. Now, I know that there's, I said old man. Some people are saying old woman. Maybe it is an old woman. If it was, I, I apologize. And if it was, that's even worse from the kid. Did you all not just hear me? I just talked about how terrible this is. Well, what this kid did is absolutely stupid and pathetic that, that the kick should be behind bars does anyone think I'm justifying what this kid did no what was I doing I was tr trying to draw a parallel so they could understand their own ignorance but I don't know what type of sunglasses invisible sunglasses these people wear okay but their vision ain't all there okay I don't know what happens something that gets blocked off you know when, when you try to put you know, some logic into their head to give them some understanding. This guy actually believes that I was justifying what this kid did. As if I said, I don't care you pussy old man. Look at that white kid that shot up the black church. Now, I'm not justifying it. Both acts were terrible. All right. Which one's worse? I would argue that the, the guy with a gun shooting up and murdering multiple people by default is worse. But they're both terrible. I, I mean, it's not really worth the debate, is it? That wasn't even my point. My point was when I was reading comments like this old lady that I saw on Facebook. I didn't reply to her because she's an old woman, right? But she put this ignorant comment like dot, dot, dot. But remember... Only black lives matter, right? Now keep in mind, this was a Latino male that hit this old man, old woman, right? They're, they're, they're saying both, but we'll... Now keep in mind, the reason we don't know, the, the elderly person was covered, like, they had like a, I don't know what it was, like a beanie, right? Or like, a, not, not a beanie, but one of those hoodies, right? And had like a, like a scarf over their mouth, because I guess it was cold, right? So it's, it's not, so it's hard to notice, but, but anyway... Right? Really? Like, like, what the, what the hell does that have to do with anything? What the, what the fuck is that? Like, what, what are you talking about? Who said only black lives? No one has ever said that. I've never seen anyone on, I've seen one person in my life that said that. His name was BK Warriors. That's it. That's the only idiot I've ever seen say something like that. Okay. He also believes that there's black people in Saturn and Mars. So obviously he's cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. Okay. But no one ever in the Black Lives Matter movement. Now you could have a whole debate on whether their tactics are, are good or bad or whether it's going to work or not or whether you agree with it or not. But they never said that only Black Lives Matter. That's retarded. And what does this have to do with Black Lives Matter? Why are they posting that? Why did I see a comment of somebody posting the following? All right. I'm trying to look for the post here. Well, which one of these thugs was Obama's hypothetical son? A lot of people read that and I don't know what the fuck he means, but obviously it's making reference to when Obama said Trayvon Martin could have been his son. Right? So if you read between the lines, well, what is he trying to say? 
It's not. It's not that hard, people. It's not that hard, right? It, honestly, it's not that hard. What is he trying to say? What is he trying to justify? Okay, now enough of the racist, right? They're going to be racist, and they're going to put their index finger on each ear and go la 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 la. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Right? That's fine. That's okay. Now let's talk amongst ourselves. Okay? These, like I said, a majority of the kids participating in this stupid game are black and Latino. Okay? And, and a lot of these videos are going viral. And you need to understand the power of a viral video on the internet. Is this happening on every street corner? No. Is this happening every day? No. It's not happening. It's not an epidemic. But it's perceived as an epidemic. When a minority does something, it's blown up. You see, when a white guy shoots up a black church and murders people, that's called the lone wolf. Okay? You need to understand the rhetoric here. That's a lone wolf. When a, in this case, a Latino or a, a black male punches an unsuspecting victim, well, that's called, that's how they are. So then what happens? A Trayvon Martin gets followed, right? Eventually shot by the person that was stalking him. And what happens? Trayvon Martin is guilty by association because, you know, that's what they do. They, they walk around white neighborhoods and just randomly punch unsuspecting white people in the face. Now, never mind that in m many of these cases, it's elderly black people. Okay. It's, you know, it's, it's not like it's just white people. Okay. Um, but th this is what they do. Okay. This is exactly what they do. All right. So it's counterproductive. Now, now, let me repeat this. A lot of people are stupid and, 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 you know, it needs to be said. They can't use their common sense. Even if there was not a macro level consequence to this, okay? Even if there wasn't, it would still be equally as terrible. I would still say that the person committing the act of violence is a terrible person. It's still assault. In fact, I believe it's, you know, it, it's attempted murder. That's what they should try it as. In, in all honesty, and that's what they should try it as, right? And whoever wants to argue about that, that's beyond me, right? But they need to stop this knockout game. So I, I still believe it would be terrible regardless, but this just, it's just an extension of what goes wrong, right? You, you need to understand this. It, it's no different to, like, for example, a white guy blows up the Oklahoma City you know, building, right? Kills many people, children, the whole nine. No one, right, invades a white country. Like, no one, t you know, starts discriminating white people. It's just that that's not the society we live in, folks, right? And look, let me make this clear. Well, let me first say, a Muslim bombs something. They want to ban all Muslims from entering the country, right? Now, I am specifically talking about right-wing racists. That, that, that's really what I'm talking about here, right? That, that's the audience I'm talking about. I'm not saying, like, everybody, right? That, that, that's, that's not what I'm saying, okay? Now, when I say something like a black, a white kid shoots up a black church and no one condemns all white people, that's fine. No one should, right? The person that committed the act should. Now, should we be realistic? Can we actually look into what caused this confused white kid to do what he did? He did what he, he, he wrote a letter on why he did it. Like, it was well known why he committed this act. He committed the act, right? Because he felt, you know, black people were getting everything. White people were losing everything. You know, uh, black people felt empowered, he heard the, the, the right-wing propaganda about, you know, Black Lives Matter is equivalent to the KKK, which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life, right? 
how anyone could draw a parallel between the KKK and Black Lives Matter is unbelievable to me. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable, right? One group is saying, you know, whites are the superior race, right? All other races should, like, go away and leave this country, okay? The other group is saying, our lives matter too. Like, stop shooting us, okay? The problems and the extensions of this is whenever a black guy gets shot or a minority gets shot by police officers, then in the heads of the majority of this country, it's going to be, well, you know how they are. Like, haven't you seen these videos when you just walk up to unsuspecting old people? Imagine what they would try to do to a cop, right? Completely counterproductive and stupid, right? Something has to happen within the communities, right? It, it, it really does. What that is specifically, I can't, I can't pinpoint that. Like at that, at that point, like I'm out of answers, right? I, I just know that something needs to be done, and that goes without saying. I think everybody agrees with that, All right? But if you're looking for an answer for me, I don't have one, right? Um, not specifically, okay? I mean, this is this knockout game, all right? is obviously it's happening more than it should without question. And every one elderly person or woman or unsuspecting victim that gets punched in the face because of this knockout game is one too many, okay? That needs to be said. Um, it's, not as, it's not as, you know, it's not an epidemic as they're making it out to be, okay? But it is a problem, okay? It is a problem because when it happens, all right, it goes viral. And the reactions that people have to it, because a lot of them are hard to watch. This is coming from me. I'm a boxing fan. I, I like watch. I love the knockout, right? I'm a person that likes watching sports with violence in it, right? But it's hard to see an elderly person. It's hard to watch it, unsuspectedly get hit for no reason. Why? Because the human part of me imagines like what if that was my grandfather what if that that was my mom or my grandmother right that, that what if that was my aunt or even the elderly person that lives across the street from me that's always been nice to me that i've never had a problem with you know, what if it happened to her you know it's just that's the mind process that strikes me right so it's hard to watch that it really is when it hit a girl i mean i just think about it what if that that was one of my you know one of my cousins or something what if that was my sister you know, it makes me want to grab one of these skinny jean wearing punks, you know, and beat the shit out of them. Okay, that, that's preferably with a baseball bat. Okay. You know, that, that's, you know, it is what it is. I'll do the time. All right, fuck it. It'll be worth it. You know, <laughs> but anyway, big problem. And by the way. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, why did you make it about, you know, all this other stuff? I didn't make it about anything, right? If I never came on here and talked about it, right, everything I, I read on Facebook still happened. Those right-wing websites still happen, right? So, so it's not like it's, I didn't, I didn't make it about anything. All this had to be was, wow, what's wrong with, with this kid punching this elderly man? I hope they catch him. I hope they lock his ass up. This should not be tolerated in our society, and it should stop in that, okay? But when, when I see people make it about something bigger, right, as far as, you know, oh, look, this is how they're like, and look, look at these people. They don't belong in our society, and send them back to the jungle, and when I read shit like that, okay, monkey this, monkey that, when I read these comments, right, then I need to address it. And I have every right to address it. I'm only addressing it and I'm responding to it, right? So there's a difference, and I know a lot of people aren't smart enough to understand this, okay, between, you know, reactionary behavior, okay, and initiated behavior, right? There is a difference. With that said, these stop boxing. I'm out. Oh, wait, 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 wait.
wait, wait, wait. Obviously, like, this is going to be like my, I kind of, I, I did ran on a little bit. The whole point of the video was, of course, we have youth that can participate in boxing. This is a boxing channel, so I wanted to incorporate it here a little bit. A lot of these kids, these confused kids, now I'm not talking specifically this kid, this kid can rot in hell, right? But just kids in general, I, I think it shows at a macro scale how a lot of these kids have no uh, nowhere to go, right? Th this myth that, well, there's no boxers anymore because they're on the NBA and the NFL. Uh, God, there's a couple dozen in the NBA, a couple hundred in the NFL, uh, let's say thousands. Okay, th th We're a nation of 300 million people. Right? Th th this idea, okay? that oh they're all there no that there's enough youth with a lot of time in their hand with the wrong time in their hand and we should redirect them over to to sports and, and if a lot of these kids want to show how tough they are and they want they think the knockout is cool go to a boxing gym try and knock somebody out in the boxing ring right do it that way and then it will be cool if you could do it there because that's why it was cool when tyson was doing it. okay that's why it was cool when cool when ggg does it okay that makes it cool all right when marcus did it to pacquiao other than to pack tarts it was cool it was a cool thing to see right so with that said i just wanted to go ahead and make that clear uh just as, as an ending point okay and i like your thoughts on this peace out